Hey everybody, it's your pal Sal from Sal Dougie's House of Cards, and today we're going to take a look at some cards from MLB Showdown that I purchased. I got an offer through TradingCardDatabase.com, uh, individual selling um, a bunch that were on my uh, wants list, and um, these kind of unique game cards are definitely something I'm highly interested in, and they're not available a ton uh via trade and even when they are i don't always have great matches from that era to try to acquire them so i did go ahead and make a purchase on these a little bit under 50 cents per card plus shipping um so not too bad i got about 40 cards uh they are all brewers um so we'll flip through them here in a minute just uh wanted to talk a little bit about mlb showdown uh it was a tabletop game like a role-playing tabletop game uh, kind of like baseball Dungeons and Dragons, if you will, uh, where the there there were uh, twenty sided there was a twenty sided die that would be used to kind of determine you know what the next action would come from the pitcher or the batter and then what that outcome would be. So we'll take a look at some of those like attributes on the card, but uh, I'm gonna look at these from uh, I got the stack upside down because it's easier to tell what year they're from. So the the game was produced from two thousand to two thousand and five. And then this sale, I don't know if I have every year, but I have some 2005s and some 2000s. Uh, like I said, the back of the card is easier. You can see on this one, it will be showed on 2005. So we'll start with the 2005s and kind of work our way down. Uh, right off the bat here, we'll flip it over. We got Wes Helms. So these are all Brewers. They are from a very dark era of Brewers baseball. Uh, so you're not going to see a lot of Hall of Famers, um, you know, some all-stars and fan favorites, but... Uh, Brewers Deep Cuts today, so uh, if you're interested or just want to see more of the uh, game cards, uh, stick around. But if uh, otherwise, get ready. We're going back to early 2000s Brewer Baseball. So we got here on the helms, you can see some like outcome ranges uh, all the way up to 20. So depending on, you know, if it was a better action, they would roll the dice and then they would kind of determine wh whatever the number uh, they rolled would indicate, you know, first base double. Uh, looks like... Maybe Helms couldn't hit a triple in the game. You know, I did try to, I think, take into account the player's attributes a little bit. Um, so you'll see some of the better players uh, have some, like, higher numbers. Um, but, yeah, so there's uh, there's Helms. We'll keep going with the 2005s here. Uh, we got Victor Santos. Lyle Overbay. So now we see on Overbay, 11 on base versus Helms had a 9. So that kind of indicates, you know, Lyle was a uh, better player then. West Helms, and if you look at your history books, you will see that was in fact the case. Um, still on the 2005, we got uh, Chad Moeller. So Chad Moeller hit for the cycle as a brewer. Uh, fun fact about Chad, but yeah, like I said, some deep cuts. Here's a here is an interesting one. We got Jeff Jenkins. Jeff uh, only with a nine on base. Um, I don't know if he gets any sort of power boost. Doesn't really look like it. Does maybe get kind of a doubles boost based on uh, what's on those attribute ranges. Uh, so still in 2005, we got Doug Davis, Brady Clark. So Brady Clark, another one with the 11 on base. Uh, we'll go back to Doug Davis real quick. Look at the pitchers. Uh, you can see there's a plus three control uh, bonus there. Um, yeah, and then, you know, attribute ranges. So you would kind of set your lineups uh, and, uh, you know, match up against the pitcher, roll the dice, see what happened in simulate a baseball game, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, when I was a kid, we didn't really have video games. I mean, the world did, but, uh, you know, um, we didn't really have a TV at our house till I was a teenager. Uh, so I didn't get to play a lot of video games, especially at home. So I would use my baseball cards and my dice and I'd make uh, simulation games. And I remember my parents getting me some cool ones too, a basketball. Well, the basketball one was more like a mechanical, like lever game. That was pretty fun. And then, um, oh shoot, I remember, uh, some people, somebody might know the name of the game in the chat. I forget. Um, I think it starts with a C. It was these little yellow discs. You'd like spin a dial and I had, I wish I had the cards to add like Eddie Murray, Cal Ripken Jr., a bunch of those kind of early 90s stars and you could simulate uh, games that way. But so I've always been kind of fascinated with this stuff. I love the unique and oddball for the pickup. So we'll keep rolling with these 2005s here. I know everybody's probably sick of looking at Doug Davis, Jeff Bennett. It's okay if you never heard of Jeff. Oh, here's another Brewers stalwart and has a plus four on the control. That's Ben Sheets. Oh, this is a cool player here. Brooks Kieschnick, two, kind of a two-way player. Maybe uh, Shohei before Shohei, if you will. But uh, 
Uh, not necessarily to the same level as either a pitcher or a hitter, but uh, I definitely uh, watched a game where Kishner pitched and hit a home run in the same game. So uh, always one of my favorites to pick up. Uh, we got uh, here. Oh, now we're into, it looks like we crossed over to 2004 at some point, maybe on the Ben Sheets card. Uh, so similar backs here. We'll look at the back of the Kishnik, the 2004 back, similar to the 2005 uh, but so we got another Jeff Jenkins here. Now Jenkins is as an 11 on base, so his career has evolved. He's a better pickup for the game. Or actually, no, that was uh, the year prior. So I don't know, degenerated in 2005 for for Jeff, Mr. Brewer. And then uh, also from 2004, we have Royce Clayton. So if you did not know, Royce Clayton did spend one season on the Brew Crew. Uh, this next one, let's see, this is, well, this one's kind of hard to tell. It looks like maybe these cards you could put across ranges because this is a copyright range of 2000 to 2003 uh, so I'm guessing 2003 highlight reel so this is an interesting game piece here uh, playing this card you would uh, force someone to disc discard any number of cards from or you can discard any number of cards from your hand to double that many players fielding scores for the role. So I don't know enough about the game to know exactly what that means, but uh, it, it did have beyond player cards. It looks like maybe some action cards you could use on this one. It does have Jose Hernandez. So it's a Brewers card, uh, Jose Hernandez on the Brewers. And then um, there's a quote from Roberto Alomar. Sometimes I'll make a play and wonder how did I do that? So kind of an interesting one there. Keeping uh, right along with the 2003s. We got Eric Young, EY, got an on base of 10, on base rating of 10. We got uh, Brewers power hitter, uh, Richie Sexton. So on the Eric Young, you have to get, uh, so maybe rolling multiple die on this one, you have to get 21 plus uh, to get a homer out of Eric Young, but on Sexton, you only have to get 19 plus. So you can see again, another example of how they tried to Weigh the the uh, kind of outcomes based on the player's real talents. Uh, so still on 2003, Alex Sanchez. We got another Jeff Jenkins here. This one Jenkins on base of nine. So Je Jeff, I don't remember being that all over the place, but you know, you can, everything kind of blends together. And it seems like they always had good years when you look back. And then we got another Jose Hernandez this time, not the uh, action card. This time it's Jose's card. And let's see, that I think is the last 2003. None from 2002 in the pickup, uh, but a bunch here from 2001. Uh, we got another Richie Sexton. Got an on base of eight. And you can see some uh, different attributes, uh, speed rating. That stuff's always kind of cool. Uh, here we go, uh, Mark Loretta. All right. Oh, this card has a little bit of damage on the back. I didn't notice it, but it's still a good pickup, and it's still a good brewer. Jeff Jenkins, let's see, on base 8. So, Jenkins, anywhere from 8 to 11, depending on what season you played him in MLB Showdown. And then uh, Jose Hernandez, so another Jose Hernandez MLB Showdown. Like I said, this was not the glory day for the Brewers. Uh, let's see, this one, still in the 2001s here, Jimmy Hayes. Haynes, Jimmy Haynes, rather. And then, oh, I just was forecasting here. We got next Charlie Hayes. Charlie Hayes, a short-term brewer. Uh, Marquise Grissom. So that's kind of a cool one. Got the Marquise Grissom uh, card there on Marquise with just an on-base of six. Valerio De Los Santos. For those of you keeping score at home. Oh, we got a Hank White. Kind of a cool card there. Still on 2001. This actually I think is the last one that I got from the set, and then the rest are going to be from 2000. We got the Ronnie Belliard. And then, like I said, the rest of these are going to be from 2000. So here we got a Wisconsin boy uh, and one-time closer of the Brewers, Bob Wickman. Another Jose Hernandez, so beefing up that Jose Hernandez PC. Kevin Barker, for those of you who remember who Kevin Barker was. Didn't know Kevin Barker was still playing in 2000, or I guess 99. Steve Woodard and Jose Valentin. So Jose was a pretty cool brewer, had some good seasons. Alex Ochoa. Mike Myers. I think this is my first Mike Myers Brewers card. So that's an awesome pickup. I love when I get a get a player I don't have any cards for. And Mike Myers actually, um, well, I guess also a great Canadian uh, comedian. Uh, did have some decent seasons or a season or two 
um, for the Brewers as a, as a kind of middle bullpen guy. Um, and then uh, it's got a first edition stamp on these uh, 2000s because this is the first year the game was released. So that's kind of cool too. Uh, but moving right along, Mark Loretta, Northwestern University star. Scott Carl, left-handed starter. Uh, the Jeff Jenkins this time on base eight. So we've had fun. I think Jenkins was in every set that we had so far. And then Marquise Grissom. So another Grissom. And then a Sean Barry. For those of you that may have remembered Sean Barry as a brewer. And then wrapping it up one last time with Ron Belliard. So that's all the MLB showdown pickups that I acquired. Super awesome addition to the uh the collection let me know anybody who's ever played the game if you don't mind throwing a comment in there or maybe how uh how your experience was how did the mechanics work uh but kind of a cool and fascinating game and a fun uh collectible so thanks everybody who watched go ahead like subscribe and i will talk to you all in the future